Hello. Today, I want to talk about the complexity of leaving an environment that isn't quite right for you. An environment where you spend and invest a significant amount of your time. One that has a huge impact on your mental health and well-being. One where choosing to leave would not be an easy decision at all. This environment could be anything, but would most likely be your job or your relationship. And when I say that it isn't quite right for you, I mean that it's also not obviously wrong for you. It's an environment where things aren't horrible by any means, but they could be better much better. And maybe it all seems right and good. Maybe everything seems perfect on the outside to those looking in, but it's not. You might be the only one who sees or knows this. You just have a feeling about it. This feeling may start small at first, but in your heart, you know that this is not where you truly want to be. And you fight with yourself when it comes to the idea of leaving. Maybe you haven't given it enough time. You need to at least give it a chance before you could seriously consider leaving. And how could you just up and leave this place if there's nothing outwardly wrong? If something was outwardly wrong, that would be a different story. It would be much easier to leave. You would have an obvious reason for doing so. Everyone else would be able to see and understand that it's wrong too. They would push you towards leaving. But that's not what's happening in this environment. There is no obvious reason to leave. Just a bunch of little feelings that something isn't right. And it's only you who sees and understands that this is not where you truly want to be. What might this look like? Well, obviously, this will look different between a job and a relationship. But maybe you have a job that pays well, but isn't fulfilling to you. It might be boring. It may not challenge you in a way that you want to be challenged. It doesn't push you to be the best you can be. In fact, it might even place limits on your potential. If you were somewhere else, you could be doing so much more. Or you might have even grown tired of what you're doing and wish you were doing something else completely. But you don't leave because it's comfortable. And if you gave this up, you may not be able to find something as good. And what might this look like in a relationship? Maybe you've been with your partner for quite a while. Things were great when you first got together, but as time's gone by, things have shifted a bit. You realize that you are two very different people. You see the world in different ways, and you keep fighting over the same recurring issues. All couples fight though. Isn't this just part of it? In both cases, if only certain things would change, everything would get better. At the beginning, you may have spent a great deal of your time and effort trying to change these things, but eventually you come to realize that things can't change in this environment. Things won't change in this environment. No matter how hard you try, things always revert back to the way they were. And the feeling inside you, the feeling of this is not where I truly want to be, that feeling that it started small has now grown large. Now it's something that constantly troubles you. You feel like you aren't fully yourself as long as you allow yourself to stay here. You feel like you aren't being true to yourself by staying here. You feel like you're letting yourself down by continuing to stay here. Now, leaving a job that isn't quite right for you and leaving a relationship that isn't quite right for you are two very different situations. Leaving a job is generally much easier. Most of the time, you can begin your search and find a new job before leaving your current one. That usually isn't the case with relationships. It would be generally frowned upon to find your next one before leaving your current one. And normally, you would have so much more invested in a relationship. You may have shared assets. You may have a family. You may still have deep love and care for your partner. All things that significantly complicate the uncoupling process. Leaving means essentially turning your whole life upside down. This is obviously one of the biggest difficulties about leaving and what prevents many people from leaving situations that aren't quite right for them. They just aren't ready or willing to turn their whole life upside down. But in both instances, I think one of the most difficult journeys is getting to this point. This point where you finally realize that you are ready to leave. Where you realize that you've had enough of things not changing. The point where leaving is now more worth it to you than staying. Where you're finally ready and willing to turn your life upside down. And the journey to get to this point can take an incredibly long time. If things aren't going well, you normally start with a certain amount of patience and effort that you can put towards trying to change things. You're more accepting if things don't go the way you want them to. But as time goes by, and things don't change, and you keep running into the same issues over and over again, you start to use it up. Each time you deal with it, you have less patience and less effort. And eventually, you may use all of it up. You may reach the point where you no longer have any patience or effort to keep trying. And even if you reach this point, you still may not be ready to leave. You may not be ready to turn your whole life upside down. You may be stuck here. And this is not a good place to be. Stuck in an environment that isn't right for you, without the will to deal with it. You may be stuck here for a while. Or you may never decide that leaving is worth it, and you may be stuck here forever. And I think this is unfortunately the reality for many people who are unhappy in their jobs or their relationships. They've come to accept that this is what it is, and they aren't willing to change it. It's not worth turning their life upside down. Leaving is scary. 
Turning your life upside down is scary. You're stepping out into the unknown. You may find that you're starting back from square one. You may lose many things along the way. You may not have as much as you had before. But one thing you will have is this decision that you've made for yourself. You've given yourself a chance to be happy. You've given yourself an opportunity to go and find a new environment, one where you truly want to be. So if you ever find yourself in an environment that isn't quite right for you, don't rob yourself of the opportunity of finding one that is. It won't be easy, but it might be worth it in the end. Anyway, that's it for today. If you found this video insightful, your thumbs up is appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on personal development and self-improvement. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.